Hello, I'm Dr. Dharma, America's number one brain longevity specialist. You got to keep that brain alive as you grow old. Now, many times I'm asked, Dr. Dharma, what is the difference between huprazine, vinpocetine, who should take these memory enhancing supplements and who shouldn't? And this is a very good question and I'll tell you why. Many doctors mean well. Let's face it, all doctors mean well. But not all doctors really know how to formulate brain longevity supplements. They combine certain nutrients that really shouldn't be combined. And by that I mean you have phosphatidylserine, you have ginkgo, and you have omega-3 oil like DHA. Now those three belong to people who have mild problems, who have more like a senior moment like attention, concentration, focus, maybe a little short-term memory loss. Then you have huprazine A and vinpocetine, which are a little bit stronger. Huprazine A is a natural compound. It comes from Chinese cub moss. And the beautiful thing about huprazine is that it is a very direct producer of the most important neurochemical or transmitter in your brain called acetylcholine. That's how your brain cells communicate like that with acetylcholine. And huprazine is actually stronger than these billion dollar drugs you see advertised on TV all the time for creating these beautiful connections that help you cement in new memories and recall old memories. So huprazine A really should not be taken by just everybody. Only people who have a actual memory issue. And the same with vinpocetine. Although vinpocetine, which comes from the periwinkle plant, has been used to increase blood flow and what we call energy of the brain, its primary use is for people who do have maybe lost a little function, for example, from a stroke or also from some memory loss as they've aged. That doesn't mean that everybody should take huprazine and vinpocetine. In fact, a friend of mine once was at my house and I had some huprazine and vinpocetine. He said, let me take it. I said, well, you don't need it. He said, no, let me take it. So I said, well, it's up to you. I gave it to him. A few hours later, I got a phone call. He said, hey, I'm in this. We were in Tucson. He said, I'm in the New Mexico border. That's like four hours away. He had driven. He got so overstimulated from huprazine and vinpocetine that he drove to the New Mexico border. And he said, oh, I've got a headache. Plus, he had to turn around and drive back. So huprazine and vinpocetine is not for everybody. It's for people who have and it could be even early memory issues to mild cognitive impairment to even early Alzheimer's. I've had good success helping patients stop the progression of their memory loss and in many cases reversing a lot of those changes and improving their memory by using huprazine, vinpocetine and other things. So thank you very much for watching. I think that explains about huprazine and vinpocetine and don't forget also about phosphatidylserine and ginkgo and DHA. But huprazine and vinpocetine are the main compounds, natural compounds that you need if you're suffering from early memory loss all the way to Alzheimer's disease. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Dharma. Here's to your health.